Step 1. How to create a manual site inside of iChannel. To begin, access the Systems tab. You do need to have administrative permissions to access the Systems tab to create a new site. Next, click on the New Site button. All sites that are created in iChannel begin first by selecting a defined template that will create the site. In the dropdown, available templates will appear. In this exercise, I will create and use the template client. Next, in the site ID field, enter a unique site that is only available within iChannel. Do not use a site ID that would be also used in a third-party application that might have an integration with iChannel. The unique site ID must be unique to iChannel only. Next, in the site name, you will see that the site ID was defaulted. You can clear that out and enter a site name for the new site that you are creating. Next, click Enter on your keyboard. Next, the following information is optional and can be added at the time you're creating the site or it can be added at a later date and time on the CRM detail page. The next required field will be in the type dropdown. A selected number of items will be in the dropdown that are unique to your firm. In this example, I will select Client. You'll also see that my site ID has defaulted from the site ID field that I entered when I was creating the site. Any other fields that are available and you would like to enter any information at this time, please do. Next, click Save in the top right corner of the screen. You have now created a new site inside of iChannel that is unique and unique only to iChannel. You can also click on the site hyperlink to verify that the new site has been created. As you can see, the client detail page has now been created, which is an indication that a new site has also been created in iChannel. Step two, how to manually create a contact at the new site that you've just created. From the system setting page where the new site was created, you can click the add contact button. The Add Contact screen for the National Landscaping LLC in this exercise will appear on your screen. It's important to note that the email address needs to be unique. Do not use an email address that is part of a contact that would be in a third-party application that iChannel may receive in an import or a nightly feed. Enter the unique email address. Enter the first name. Hit Tab on your keyboard. Next. Enter the last name, then click tab on your keyboard. Any additional information that you would like to add, you can add at this point in time. Don't worry though, if you do not add any information about the new contact that you're creating, you can add that at a later date and time on the contact detail page inside of iChannel. Next, in the far right corner, select save. As you're now looking at the contact detail page for David Smith. David Smith was a contact that was created at the National Landscaping LLC Company. You can click the National Landscaping LLC Company in this exercise, and you will see that one contact has been created at the client detail level site. There's your new record for David Smith. Step three, creating your contact to have a subscriber record, which would grant them access to the iChannel portal to receive or to send back documents to their firm representative. In this exercise, you will learn how to create your new contact record as a subscriber record. To begin, access the contact at the new site that you've just created. In this case, the National Landscaping LLC on the client detail, you see I have one contact. David Smith was created as only a contact. To grant David Smith as a portal user, you'll see that his portal icon is currently grayed out. By clicking the globe, you'll start to begin to create a portal record for David Smith. As you can see, the Create New Portal Subscriber page is now on the screen. 
The contact information is listed for David Smith and the site for the National Landscaping Company. The email address is defaulted as it was entered earlier when creating the contact record. The user ID is also defaulted. You can, at this time, update the user ID as needed for your firm. A random password has been created at this time for David Smith. When David Smith receives information that his iChannel portal has been created, David Smith will receive a temporary password. At that time, David Smith will be required to update his password to something more secure than the temporary password. Next, click Save. As you can see on the System Subscriber Detail page, David Smith has just now been created. We also know that David Smith, who was created at the National Landscaping LLC company, now has a portal record inside of iChannel. David Smith has a contact record for the CRM side of iChannel, and David Smith also has a portal record inside of iChannel. The information you entered earlier for the updating of the username is already defaulted in the user ID field. His email address is also defaulted. And as you can see, he's an active individual for the portal. Next, you need to assign David Smith a group membership that's already been predefined by your system administrator. This group membership will give David Smith the security rights to access the portal and to be able to navigate inside the portal. In this exercise, I'll just click the client basic user. As you can see, David Smith has been added to the National Landscaping site for his portal activity. Next, click save in the top right corner. You can also send David Smith a send portal is ready email. When you click this, a default email page will appear. On the Compose email page, David Smith's name has already been defaulted from the earlier page when you set up David Smith as a portal user. The subject is the portal is ready. That can be updated if need be by the firm prior to sending the email. In the default body area of the email is a statement letting David Smith know that his login will be his email address. His temporary password, which was created by iChannel, is also listed along with the URL page that David can save locally. So when he needs to access the iChannel portal, he will have that set as one of his favorites or stored somewhere locally that he can easily access it. Next, click send and the email will be sent to David Smith. Thank you for watching this iChannel learning video on how to create a site manually, how to create a contact manually, and how to take the contact record and manually create it as a portal subscriber record in iChannel.